What's up, Algebra 2? It's week 9. Nothing finer than week 9-er so far for this semester. Um, the reality is this is the week before fall break, so do all you need to do for this week and then get it done. Hopefully by uh, fall break time I will have finally graded everything like I promised to. My big plans were to do it all this weekend and I had everything lined up and then the kids got uh, stomach viruses, so that cut everything out. I was busy like cleaning up disgusting things and all kinds of other stuff I won't go any further but uh, anyway it's week nine uh, I will give you some opportunity to make up some assignments over fall break but not a billion of them uh, and I'll have more details about that in the announcement section which is right here so you'll have to check on it uh, every few days to once I get my life together to figure out exactly what I'm going to allow you to make up anyway a couple things have changed on the old syllabus You'll notice, or you may or may not notice, that I no longer have a Facebook page listed here. It's because I don't have one anymore. I deactivated it, and it, it's not because I hate Facebook or something. Uh, I, I sort of do, but it's just not for me is the reality. I was sort of pushed to do it uh, because the school thinks it's a great way to interact, and I just felt like it was unfair to people who thought I was actually beyond there because it's just one of those things that's not connected to something I'm already using, and I felt that was dishonest for me to pretend like I was going to check it. I had a, a parent email me, or message me through the system and I didn't get back to her until after the the kind of the time value of that question was over and it was just it wasn't like I was trying to be rude it was just that it was just another thing to check and I never checked it um, so there it is uh, I just got rid of it It doesn't make you a bad person if you have it but these are the things I do have um, my email which is through the school I also have a backup email that I use for my Google Plus account which is uh, the L-A-M-E-E, -E, my name spelled phonetically, at Outlook, which is how I, that's my other work email for projects that I'm doing. Anyway, uh, my Google Plus, I really like, I don't have a lot of uh, people in circles or anything, because tons of people don't use it, and I just don't reach out to try to connect with very many people. But I do like it because I think it's pretty, and uh, it's already connected to my YouTube channel. Eventually, a lot of my videos will start posting uh, to Google Plus to let you know that they're there and whatnot. These announcements will probably pop up there. Uh, I also have a Twitter account that I just started. I've had one before, but I've sort of updated it. So that's there. That's the Twitter. So if you want to follow around on that, I should have some stuff. And I'm linking my YouTube channel to both those products so that uh, anything that pops up that might be useful will show up there. That way, if you connect to one of them, you can get the info that you may or may not need. Um, my Skype stuff is still there. Uh, so if you need help, the ridiculous chat room thing here is whatever it is, but uh, the conference thing is still buggy, and that drives me insane, and Skype has worked, seems to work pretty well. I even have a little whiteboard app thing that I can use with it, which is kind of cool. Anyway, uh, that's that. So those are the changes. My social status has changed in certain ways in the sense that I've gotten rid of things and added some things in. So I don't want to leave you in the dark about it. But if you have Facebook, it doesn't mean you're a bad person. Anyway, uh, one day maybe I'll even get a Tumblr. But uh, I've got some stuff I'd post there just because I'm working on it and I'd like to have feedback about it. But I'm too lazy to get that thing going right now. Anyway, office hours, in case you haven't seen, Tuesday to Thursday, that would be Eastern Standard Time. It doesn't. The central time zone is central to my heart, but not to my life. So I'm in Eastern Time, which makes it noon to 2 for Central Folk. Um, and Wednesday from 7 to 8, that'd be 6 to 7 uh, Central Basically, all I'm going to do, basically what I'm doing, not all I'm going to do, it's where I'm starting out is what I'm doing. So I go onto this email, the Tennessee Online Public School, and just click on the Google Talk section down at the bottom, and I chat back and forth with people. And if the questions are more complicated than said uh, interaction can handle, we'll go to Skype, or maybe we can go into the conferences, even though the audio doesn't really work there. Um, it gives me access to something where I can show you specific things. But uh, if you don't have any questions, it's fine. And I try to get back to you as quickly as I can anyway if you contact me, but sometimes I'm not available. But I will be available those times. Also, if I'm not up on talk and it's between 1 and 3, make sure that you just message me. Occasionally I forget to turn it on even though I'm sitting right in front of the computer. I'll have like four tabs open and that's one of them. And I just forget that it's supposed to be on and it's not. And occasionally you'll find me on there at other times. And you're welcome to conversate with me back and forth. Um, half the time it's on my phone so I'll be driving around and trying to th remember like oh what does geometric series look like so it's kind of a 
and added little weirdness to my life, which I sort of actually like. So that's, those are the big changes in the syllabus and whatnot. Anyway, let's go to the assignments for this week. Um, by the way, you should be checking assignments. You can go through this link, you can scroll all the way down, uh, or you can go to modules. The to-do list thing is a kind of a questionable mistress in the sense that it looks like it's a great thing, but half the time stuff won't show up on there or whatever, so you can't move forward. I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do? And na na na. Just go to modules and look to see what's there and it'll work. The announcements uh, will probably be posted there pretty soon. And when the announcements are posted, like week eight announcement here, week eight announcements, just make sure you click on the link uh, to open them up. And once it opens, uh, so I'll do the week eights just so you can see them. Just go over and sort of uh, click here, which you figured out if you're watching this right now. Of course, you may have gotten it as like a, you found it on my YouTube channel or something. So make sure you do that. It opens it right up. And you'll have met your requisite requirement because I do make people watch announcements now because people are missing stuff and asking me the same questions over and over again, and it was tiresome. Um, anyway, assignments for this week. There's only one regular assignment and a discussion and then a test. Uh, graphing linear inequalities, you go in, there's an assignment, there's a video on it. It's about 10 questions. It's not very long. I wasn't trying to beat you up. Um, the next one is a graded discussion. It is math-related, just so you know. Um, just because I wanted to do a math one before we went our separate ways for a little bit of time. Test 3 review. And by the way, you'll have to click on this and make sure the thing loads or you click the button. For this one, you'll have to, or for this one, you have to submit. This one, you have to uh, make sure that you go in and view it at least before you can move on. Make sure you also post earlier in the week. That way, you, you don't lose points for not engaging in the process. Uh, test 3 review will pop up. You do not submit test 3 review. You do not submit test 3 review. And there's nothing to submit anyway. Go in, look at the questions. If you have questions about specific ones, let me know and I'll try to get back to you with how to do it before you take your test. If you wait till afterwards and like, oh, can I retake the test? No. And here's why. Test 3 is the first test that I'm doing that's straight off of power school. It's kind of like the benchmark. Some of you didn't do the benchmark for whatever reason. So this test is based off going into uh, SchoolNet and getting there. In order to do that, you'll need to go to PowerSchool. I tried to include a link. Uh, then you'll go to click on SchoolNet, which yours will look a little different because you have PowerSchool and I have PowerTeacher, but it's the best I could do. On the left side of your screen, you'll see a little drop-down menu. You probably won't have all these choices. At the bottom, it'll say SchoolNet. You'll click on that, and it'll open up SchoolNet. From here, there'll be a little box uh, once you get to the testing part uh, where you can plug in a test code. The test code for this test is 8675309 because uh, Jenny likes that number. And uh, from there, it'll open up the test. It's test time. The test directions. There's a three-hour time limit. It doesn't go over. It does. You can qu you finish it whenever it's done, but that's it. One shot. There's like no retakes or any of that stuff. Uh, I want you to really focus on each question and try to get the answer correct. There's 50 questions or so, uh, maybe 55, not a billion of them um, as far as that's concerned. Also, at the top right corner of your test, there's a little drop-down menu. There's a couple things for your test that matter. Number one, there's calculators. They're not the greatest calculators, and if you have a TI-84+, Plus, I'd just keep that handy instead, but there's a scientific calculator and a graphing calculator. You'll go up into the corner, you'll click on it, a little menu will fall down, and it'll give you some options. They're not wonderful, but they're better than nothing if you don't have anything. And also the reference page. The reference page has all the formulas on it. You should probably uh, go and print it out ahead of time. I think I threw a link in here somewhere. If not, I'll uh, throw one on here before you get around to it. Uh, so just go and pop up the reference page. That way you have the formulas if you need them. It's available to you on the end of course test too, so you should get used to using it. And uh, on the test, write things down on paper. Use a separate sheet that you have at your house while you're taking the test so you don't miss the questions. Take your time. As I look through the benchmarks of the ones I felt actually gave effort on it, the questions that you missed most likely for you guys were just careless things, things if you'd read them more appropriately or paid attention to the fact that there's a negative there or whatever, you would have got them correct. That was where the most missed things. Not, uh, I didn't get the concept questions. The biggest things were, I didn't understand, I just made a careless mistake. You can't afford to do that on the end of course test. You need to do well on it. it's 25% of your grade next semester. You don't want to take Algebra Part B twice. It's just something that you don't want to have to live with. So. 
focus on this test. I'm trying to get you prepared for the idea of how tests are going to be taken in the future. Most of my tests from now on will be done this way because the test question quality is higher, and I think it uh, it seems to run a little better, I guess. Plus, it once you get to the benchmarks, they won't yell at you at the office for not having all the info that you need. But that's it. So um, I'm very excited that it's almost um, fall break. I hope you guys have an awesome fall break. If I don't talk to you, you know, have fun. Be safe. Don't do ridiculous things. Make sure you watch yourself on the road. It's kind of a downtime for traffic, but I mean, it's always a big deal or whatever. And if you need anything, please let me know. Uh, we've got some, hopefully some cool stuff coming up in the second part of the semester. Um, we're trying to do sort of this weird satire thing and some other stuff that I've been working on in the background a little bit because I'm trying to actually be involved with tops as opposed to my usual MO, which is hiding in my room and leaving. But, uh, it is what it is. So, uh, Good luck on all your stuff. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, enjoy your break, everybody.